Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let me know when you come on. Make sure to say hello. I'm Teresa with Teresa Renee Art, and we are doing the second installment of the Pentart 101 series. Good morning, Brenda. Good morning, Rennie. Um, we are actually streaming uh, five different places this morning. Uh, so uh, if you would kindly do me a favor and go to, if you're on Facebook, You'll go to um, Facebook dot or sorry, StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook so I can see your name. Most of you have already done that, but we may have a couple of Facebook users. Good morning, everybody. Hope y'all are doing well. Are you ready for episode number two in our Pentart 101? Uh, we had a really good turnout last week. Hopefully we have a good turnout this week. Um, if you're watching me on my channel, which is Teresa Renee Art, there are a couple of commands that you can use. You can, um, we do have the chat bot enabled, so you can type in um, exclamation point retailers, and that will take you to a website that lists out all of our retailers across the USA. Um, so you can find someone uh, close to you. Um, one thing I wanted to to share with you is I do have sometimes people people who want to support me personally and what I'm doing. And what I want to say to you is that the best way you can support me is by supporting one of my retailers uh, because they are really the backbone of what we do. And um, so if you haven't found someone local to you or someone that you enjoy working with, um, go to exclamation point retailers. If, you're following me on Teresa Renee Art, and that will bring up a listing. Um, and you can find someone who's close to you. Our retailers carry a lot of products um, across uh, all of the kind of DIY brands. We have some who focus on paper crafting, some who focus on furniture, um, and a lot who are now sort of really invested in just this crafty kind of DIY space. Um, so they're, they are building and adding as we go. And so by supporting them, you're helping me as well. Good morning, Mara. Good morning, Sheila. Um, hello, Dana. Hello, um, Amanda. And you don't need to say who who it is that you're, you know, we want to give all of our retailers an, um, you know, a, an equal moment in the spotlight. So you don't need to say which one you work with. Um, we uh, we just appreciate it when you do Um when you do support them. Okay, so Tracy, Dana, Brenny, Cindy, hello, hello, hello. Today we're gonna to be talking about Deluxe Paste. We, um, oh gosh, Deluxe Paste, 11 different colors of Deluxe Paste, you guys. Um, this is a product that I just absolutely love. Um, last week we talked about heavy body gel. That's, that's probably my number one heavy body gel. Um, besides, of course, I mean, decoupage glue, we are going to have a whole session on decoupage glue, you know, and there's a lot of basics that we're going to show along the way. Um, heavy body gel, we talked about last week when I did this demo with the retailers, I actually, I did a lot more consolidating than what I'm going to be doing here. Um, so last, when I did this with the retailers, I actually combined the heavy body gel and the, the deluxe paste. Um, into one session, but here I've broken it out in two because um, uh, they added three new colors this past Christmas and I wanted to really spotlight that. Um, I love Deluxe Piece too. <laughs> I love, love, love it. So Pentart does have a um, stencil paste line, which we haven't gotten in just because they have so many colors of deluxe paste that I feel like we don't need a separate. And plus with what we know, we can mix ourselves with the heavy body gel. I didn't feel like we needed necessarily to have a, um, a, uh, a separate stencil paste line. Um, and they're really tiny jars too. The deluxe paste are, they come in this size. This is a hundred milliliter because in Europe, they're on the metric system. So if this is approximately, um, approximately four ounces in this size. Um, so let's see. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So we have 11, uh, colors 
we're going to go through and look at all of them. I do have some, um, I do have some uh, sample boards kind of ready to go. So another kind of housekeeping tip because we have so many people watching and the comments can get a little bit overwhelming. Um, I'm just going to ask you to save your questions until the end. And also, if you would please to keep them on topic, um, fo let's focus on the product that we're talking about. If you have questions beyond the scope of what we're talking about, you can always ask your retailer about those products and they'll be able to help you. OK, so we're going to focus on one product at a time. We're not going to go off on. Um, tangents about other things. We're going to keep it on topic. Keep the chat on topic too, please, if you don't mind. Um, and then uh, retailers, if you're watching, I know we have several on this morning. Um, if you would please, if you have deluxe paste in any colors in stock, if you would please share your links right now, that would be super helpful. And then my daughter's here. She's going to help me. Do you want to say hi, Emily, or no? <laughs> Emily is here. She's going to be helping me clean stencils as I go. Let me grab her. Um, um, couple of things. Here's a baby wipe. So you'll wipe them off first and then you'll take them to the sink and kind of brush them. Pardon? Uh, soap and water. Okay. So let me turn my camera down. And. We have a couple of tags um, that I've gotten ready this morning. First, before I show you any project stuff. And again, when we're doing these demos, we are going to keep the um, we are going to keep the projects or the demos very simple. So we're going to be doing a lot of tags, a lot of simple boards, stuff like that, um, and and easy just for sake of demonstration um so okay so before i get started let me show you all the different colors okay we'll we'll look at one at a time first up we have rose gold um this is a this is one we've had for a while this is an older color uh one of the ogs i guess you could say rose gold this is absolutely beautiful. Um, the thing about Deluxe Paste is they uh, have a an incredibly high mica content. So they are extremely metallic and sparkly, not like pearlescent, but meta true metallic. Um, and they also dry a little bit uh, matte, okay? Um, so that is rose gold. Next up, we have platinum, which is really just a fancy name for silver. So we have platinum. Next up, we have um, this one. This is truffles. This is truffles. So this is like our brown. Um, next up, we have anthracite, which is our kind of dark gray, charcoal, almost black color. Um, next up we have champagne, which is not quite gold, um, just a kind of a light, a light gold, if you will. We have champagne. Um, then we have Lagoon Blue, which I think is a um, an un very underrated color this is a beautiful color and i am going to use it today on this tag this is lagoon blue um this one is very popular at christmas time um this one is just called emerald and it is very beautiful but of course you can use it all year round this is emerald um next up we have pearl so it's just a beautiful white uh, I use this one at Christmas time too for snowflakes, but it is very beautiful all year round as well. And then uh, we did add three new colors this past holiday season, um, which we sold out of, but we have now back in stock. Um, this is the gold deluxe paste gold 
Next up, we have black gold. Um, this one is a little bit different because it is a true black, but it has the mica in it. It has flecks of gold in it. It's just it's just amazing. Like this is this was our probably our top seller this past Christmas season. Um, and then next up we have Bordeaux gold, which is equally as beautiful. It is a beautiful deep, deep red, and it also has little flecks of gold in it as well. So these two, these three were the holiday colors, um, but we are going to have them year round as well. So. Um, the first thing we're going to do before we do anything, and I will let you guys choose which color we want. Actually, why don't we give um, just a couple of options here. Let's choose from gold. Uh, well, why don't we choose the holiday colors since we're, we're, we just talked about that. So you guys can choose either uh, red, gold, or black. And what we're going to do is we're going to cover this glass piece first, and we'll talk about that. So let me know um, in the comments if you want red, gold, or black. Brenda says red. If you want, I can just call you when I need you because we're going to be a little while. Or you can stay. It's up to you. Uh, red, so we we got lots of reds. I think it's I think red is going to be the winner. Let's see. It's scroll. It's scrolling by really fast. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine votes for red. One, two, three, four, five. Five votes for black so far. Let's go with red. Red is the early leader. Um, okay, so this is Bordeaux red. Uh, and I just told you to type red because it's just easier to type. I'd like to see what the gold looks like. Okay, so um, one of the awesome things about Deluxe Paste is when you're using it on glass, you do not need a primer. Um, it will stick to glass without a primer, which I think is pretty pretty darn cool. Um, this one has a little bit of gunk on it, but we're going to roll with it anyway. Um, so, and then it will dry. So if you wanted to use like a, use it as a, actually, you know what, let me do a sponge dauber here. So if you take a little, sponge dauber like this one and you pounce it on all the way around um, or if you use it you know on glass through a stencil or something it will stick onto glass without any primer and it will dry it will not um, scratch or peel off uh, I recommend using a sponge dauber just so that you don't end up with brush marks or streaks um, and you can get even coverage. You are going to need several coats of it, um, several coats to fully cover the whole thing, uh, which means a little bit of drying time in between. But I promise you the results will be completely worth it. So this is just a glass jar we can do the same thing with plastic. So it will also stick to plastic without any kind of primer. Um, and the finish is going to be tough as nails that will not wash off or flake off. I mean, it is like permanent. Yeah. Um, so any kind of glass bottle upcycles. Um, I actually at one point, I did my whole, I have like a, a mason jar and that's what I used. I don't use it anymore, but that's what I used to use. It's kind of like my, for my brushes to keep water in and keep my brushes wet until I could clean them. Um, but I don't use it anymore, but I wanted to decorate it. So I covered the whole thing with 
champagne. Um, it will dry pr pretty fast. So what we're going to do is one coat at a time in between projects. And right now we're going to stick this off to the side. Okay. So we're going to stick that off to the side. Oop, up here. And stick that off to the side. It will work on metal as well. It'll, it's going to pretty much stick to any surface. So we use glass as kind of the benchmark because that's the one that's the most tricky. And, you know, if it'll work on glass, it'll work on just about anything. But yes, it will work on metal as well. Um, all right. So next we're going to do, and I'm just sticking that to the side so I don't have to use um, a hair dryer. Um, and if you don't mind, please um, uh, save your questions until the end. I would really like to answer all of the questions um, to make sure that we have the best and um, most up-to-date information. So if you don't mind saving your questions until the end so that I can answer them, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, if you don't have a retailer already and you're watching me at Teresa Renee Art, what you can do is type in the comment. You can type in exclamation point uh, retailers. Um, and that will give you a list of all of our retailers. It's awesome when you can find one who is close to you, who may have a brick and mortar shop that you can go visit and play with these products. I know we do have several who have in-person workshops. Those are always awesome as well. But of course, our online retailers are just as knowledgeable. Make sure you're asking. Our, our retailers have been trained, you guys. So our retailers have had this series before. They are extremely knowledgeable. Please ask your questions to a qualified retailer. Um, who uh, who can give you the most accurate information. These products can be a little bit tricky, you guys. And with that, sometimes what happens is some misinformation. And we're trying to avoid that with this series. Um, and we're trying to direct you to our retailers who can answer um, questions and such. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and dry this one. It's not quite dry. Okay, all right, and I am going to, um, if you're wondering what I'm doing, most of you have probably seen this before, but if you decoupage a whole sheet of paper onto your surface and then let it dry and then use a fine grit sandpaper along the edges, um, then you can get a nice clean edge. Um, so that's what I've done here. And it's a lot easier than trying to measure out and then make sure you line up your um, line up your stuff exactly. All right. So, how's everybody Saturday morning? Hope you guys are doing great. We are, my um, oldest daughter had a sleepover last night, so I have a house full of teenage girls. Um, I'm going to try to pull up the schedule to see what we're doing next week. Hold bear with me one moment and I'll see. Uh, I did type out a schedule for the for the whole um, 
40 weeks. Uh, let's see. Enter 101. I don't know what I did with it, though. I don't know if Yvette is watching. Yvette, are you on? Um, hold on one second. Let me see if I can. If I can find my schedule, you guys. Pentart demos. There it is. Okay. So let me tell you. I'll give you the preview of what we're going to be doing. Um, next week, we're going to be doing modeling pace. This is on the 10th. We're going to be doing modeling pace, structure pace, and fiber pace. And then the week after, we're going to be doing snow, ice, and rainbow paste. So that is our look ahead. Um, if you want to make sure you're covered on those. So we're starting with all the pasty things. And we're going to work our way through all of them and show you all of them side by side. Talk about the differences. Etc. Um, so this one, I'm going to bring this out. This is a board that I did when uh, when we first released our stencils. Um, this one I did on a live with Nancy, and I used our organic coffee stencil, and I used um, the truffles color through the coffee stencil, and I just want to show you how pretty how pretty that is. Super clean, tight edge on it. Um, very pretty color. Really gorgeous. Um, and then retailers, go ahead and drop your links one more time if you have uh, our stencils or deluxe piece, etc. Um, and of course, we're using decoupage queen stencil, um, decoupage queen papers for our tags here as well. Okay, so this was truffles. This was the uh, the brown color that I used here. All right, so what we're going to do, we're just going to do a couple of demos here on the tag using a few different colors. Um, and hold on, let me call my daughter real fast. She's going to come help us. Hold on one moment. Okay, I called her. I don't know if she heard me. Um, all right, so we got a couple of different things we can use, and I hadn't really planned this all out, but I was thinking like I was thinking about maybe this in a corner. Let's do this one in a corner. Hello, Anya. How are you? So we're going to do this one. We're going to use the lagoon. And we're just going to put this in a corner here. This little stencil. We're going to do this little corner right here. And I'm going to use this one, the Lagoon, so you can see that one. I am going to demo all of them. I may not actually do, you know, some sort of project with all of them. But as I show you the color, I will demo it and then stick it off to the side. This is Lagoon Blue. Lucky enough, you guys, this morning that I actually had them all here. So... Okay, so let me stir this up. Lagoon Blue. They can settle, you guys, and so you do want to stir them up if they if there's a little bit of settling that has happened. I'm gonna use one. I'm gonna do one at a time here. So you have to, and so just for housekeeping, you guys. Um, if you're using this through a stencil, and I'll show you in just a minute, uh, you do want to kind of clean it with a, um, a baby wipe or something before you stick it in the um, sink. 
because you don't really want to put these products down your sink, you guys. That you can, you can clog drains. Uh, we do not want to clog any drains. So just make sure um, that you are cleaning it kind of with a baby wipe or something or paper towel or something before you put it in the sink. All right, and I'm gonna demonstrate that here in just a second. So we're gonna take a little bit on our palette knife and I'm gonna rub it over the surface here. And I'm gonna lift that up. And there is our Lagoon Blue. I think that is such a gorgeous color. It looks really great with that tag. I didn't do a great job of lifting that um, of lifting that stencil up, so I did slide around a little bit. But see how I'm wiping this with a baby wipe first? So you want to do that before you stick this under the sink to clean it. So go wash it with soap and water. And then you can leave it there. Okay, so soap and water. We also have a stencil cleaner spray, which works really well. Yes, please do not, any pasty products, including heavy body gel, we didn't talk about this last week, do not um, run those down your drain, okay? Please. <laughs> please, please, please. All right, this one. I'm gonna use this honeycomb. I'm gonna use it here. And I think I'm going to use my um, champagne color. No, that's gold. This is champagne. I'm gonna use my champagne color and I'm gonna do the honeycomb on this one. So you can see that color next. This is champagne. So somebody asked last week, how do I prevent, um, how do I prevent um, what happened here? Basically, you want to lift it straight up when you're when you're bringing it up, and I'll show you that. I'll show you the correct way in just a second. So here's my honeycomb, and they will thicken as they, um, you know, when they've been exposed to air, they will start to thicken up. So they can dry out as well. So you do want to make sure that you're using them. All right. This is the platinum. You can take a, you can um, scrub it a little bit with a scrubber gently, but otherwise just leave it damp and okay. go ahead and run this one down as well. Thank you. All right, and then next up, we are going to do something here. And I think what we'll do, let's use, let's use this one. And I don't know what color should we, let's use black on this one. Let's use black and then let's do, do, uh, let's do this one. Let's just do uh, a cup, a little bit of Harlequin, this baby Harlequin down here. And we'll use the black. I do want to show you this black. It's still gorgeous. Actually, you know what? I think let's use the anthracite since the piano is more gray. So we're going to use the anthracite on this one. Can you use distilled water on it to loosen? Um, these don't really work like that. They, you know, they start to get a little bit, you can try it. I mean, look, if, you're, if your paste starts to get a little too pasty and chunky, at that point, you're, you know, you could try anything. You're not going to hurt it um, because you're close to having to replace it anyway. So just make sure you're getting good use out of them is my point. 
and not letting them sit on your shelves, you know, protecting it for a special project or something to where then you risk having it dry out. So I'm stirring it to incorporate. All right. So here's Mimi. Okay. My husband's standing at the door. You want to come say hi, honey? Hold on, you guys. Let me show you my husband. He's just standing at the door like he wants to be involved. So let's make him get involved. Hello. <laughs> There's the decoupage king right there. Even though he's never done any decoupage in his That's life. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> His face is like 20 shades of red right now. All right. Um, Y'all, that was a big step, getting him to come on and say hi. He has never done that before, so you guys should feel pretty special. All right, so here we go. Let's scrape that up. His name is Jeff, by the way. All right, so we're just going to scrape that up. This is anthracite. And whoop, you know what? I put that one all over the place. Okay, so that was anthracite. Uh, my stencil game is not strong today. I don't think I've had enough coffee. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to wipe this one down. And then, all right, and Malie, here you go. All right, the next ones I'm actually just going to show you on a plain board we are just gonna pull them out and um and roll with it that way so you can just see the colors so i don't think i actually need to do like a through a stencil on all of the rest of these so that you can see the colors but first before we do that let's we we do have a couple of projects to do all right, we do have a couple more projects to do um, that I have prepped. So we got a couple of big stencils or big tags. And let me see, while we're waiting, let's dry this a little bit because I need to dry this tag and I need to dry this at the same time. So Rennie, um, there isn't really, you know, because there are so many conditions that can affect it, like your um, temperature and your house and, you know, whether or not you've left the lid on. But basically, once you open it and once it hits the air, it's probably going to last about six months top. So you really need to, once you open that lid and that seal is broken and it's hit the air, um, you really need to use it. You can also extend the life a little bit by if you um, put some um, saran wrap over the top and keep them sealed with saran wrap, that will extend the life as well a little bit. You know, Betty, uh, let's see. Um, Michelle, yeah, I mean... You know, they're they're not going to last forever unopened, you know, any products over time, um, if you leave them sitting, are going to dry out. Um, but sometimes what happens is you may have a slight um, break in the seal that we don't know about because we're not sitting there opening all the product. If, um, you know, something reaches a customer or it's beyond its shelf shelf life it very well could it could dry out on the shelf it has happened it doesn't happen often now there isn't really a great way to salvage dry deluxe paste because again remember what i said um when you were when we were doing this little jar um when it dries it is hard as a rock it is hard as a rock. Saran wrap, press and seal. You can definitely extend the life of all of your products, including paint. 
um, by adding saran wrap before you close them. All right. So thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here this morning. It means a lot to me. And uh, I know it means a lot to our retailers too. Um, they have invested so much time and energy into these products. And we just want to make sure that you guys have the best information. Um, anything that I don't know the answer to, I can find out for you. And, um, you know, don't feel like you're you're not going to be able to get an answer on something. You know, and I will tell you too, like, we are going to go through every product. And quite honestly, you know, there's some products that I personally just don't use, but we're, we're still going to go through them and talk about them. And, you know, I'm going to, I'm always like from a place of um, honesty when it comes to how I use stuff, like when we talked about the matte heavy body gel, yes, last week. Um, you know, we sell a lot of matte heavy body gel. I can't figure out what people are using it for because I, I don't use it that often. I just don't. <laughs> but, you know, a lot of people really like it. So, um, you know, and there's some stuff that I've tried that I'm just like, eh, okay, you know. And it's just because it's just not, it's not the way I do it, you know, which is fine. It doesn't mean that nobody else can use it. Um, we probably have another five minutes on this one, so. Okay. All right. So this one, we are going to do a full design. I've done a background paper. Uh, this is Coach House Cottage, for those of you who don't recognize it. This is A3 size. This is an extra large tag. We do supply our retailers with these as well. These are great basics. You know, if you're having, if you're going to do a demo or a class or something. Hey, um, Emily, did you get this one? Emily, this one, the Harlequin, it's still sitting here. All right. So before I do that, I'm going to pass on another coat of this Bordeaux. It's, um, this one. Oh, she's wearing a dress. Okay. You guys, guess what? So we have uh, tickets to see Hamilton. We're leaving at 1130. So we are going to go see Hamilton today. I'm so excited. Um, also, later today at 3 o'clock, don't forget, at 3 o'clock on Saturday, 3 o'clock Eastern, uh, we have Terry Lightsey hosts our creative hour on Decoposh Queen. That's on the Decoposh Queen page. Today, we have three very special guests. We have the swag makers. We have... Um, uh, Mara and Debbie Rigg and Jennifer Feely from Home Sweet Create will be on today. All three together, they're all going to be using the same paper. It is going to be a blast. Um, Mara, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to watch it live because I'll be watching Hamilton, but I will definitely catch the replay. I am so excited to see what they come up with. That is just going to be phenomenal. Yes, yeah, so many guests all at once. We've never done that before. So we're kind of treating them, at, you know, it's like a package deal, right? So you get all three for one. Just keep it wet and I'll scrub it off. Okay. So look how beautiful this is. This is turning out with that second coat, you guys. And it, you saw it didn't take that long to dry. It didn't take that long for the first coat to dry. Um and it is very hard. Like, I can't scratch it off with my nail. Um, yeah, I was going to say Debbie Rigg with Studio MDAZ, but I don't think she even has 
does Debbie even have a crafting page anymore or did she start a new one? I know she has her Czech Savvy Sisters group. Um, but anyway, you guys all know who Debbie is. She was the Studio MD AZ. Um, so yeah, we're extremely excited to have them together. It's gonna be amazing. All right. So well, let's dab that on. There we go. So look how pretty that is. Look how awesome that coverage is. And then if you added like a little mold or something in gold, how pretty that would be. And it's going right on that glass. Again, like I said, I don't need any sort of primer or anything. Okay. So that's just amazing. All right. This is the Bordeaux gold. That's that color. All right. So we're going to do um, a complete um, stencil on here. We're going to use this organic garden stencil. And I'm going to let you guys decide what color we're going to use. Um, if we should use, well, we already used the anthracite. If we should use the black gold, I mean, I was originally I was thinking rose gold, but I think that might be too much pink and I don't think it's going to show up that well. So, or we could use, we maybe could use white. I think that would be pretty, the pearl white. So I'm going to, I'm going to make these the options, the black gold or the pearl white. You guys tell me what you want on this one. I think the pearl. We do have a green. It's emerald. We have emerald. White. I think the white too. Okay. Everybody's saying white. Let's do the white. Okay. So let's take. Um. All right, well, let's take our white. This is the pearl white. And I'm I'm going to do this image, and then I think I'm going to try to, I don't know, maybe I'll just do the whole thing just to keep it simple. All right, so this is our pearl white. And I'm going to go ahead and stir this up really good. Make sure all my mica powders distributed really well in there. All right. Again, don't um, clean your stencils in the sink while it still has a thick layer of product on there. Make sure you wipe it off well. These do not play well with drains. Um, I've got this one and then I'll do I'll have one more and then that's the stencil. Okay, so here we go. This is the pearl white. A lot of times at Christmas time when I'm doing ornaments and such and I don't know what to do with the back of my ornament, I'll just pounce on deluxe paste like I did with this jar and I'll just leave it like I'll do it. Sometimes I'll just do it with this pearl white color, you know, and I'll just kind of make that the backside of my ornament. So a lot of times when people ask me what the, what did I use on the back? If I don't show it, it's pretty much nine times out of 10. The answer is just deluxe paste. Um, Cause I just think it makes a very pretty shimmery sparkly back without a whole lot of thought and effort okay all right what did she say pearl pearl black 
The Bordeaux, yeah, the Bordeaux would be pretty. Um, we're gonna keep it soft. And then I was looking for my little scraper, my silicone scraper that I had last week. I was looking for that, but all right. So now I'm just gonna lift it straight up. There you go. Oh, here, let me look how pretty that is, you guys. I'm gonna put that off to the side and clean this real fast. Because it's gonna have a lot on it. Okay. All right, there you go. And then I have one more after that. So here we go. Look how pretty that is. It's just gorgeous and understated. And you don't see a lot of um, white stenciling projects. So this is just delightful. This is the pearl white. Okay, so we have one more projecty type one we're going to use this one this is a paper from uh, my friend roberta this one is called atelier de viti and i think it is a perfect background paper so we're going to do one more project with this one Um, if you guys are new to me, I'm Teresa with Teresa Renee Art. I do live, regular lives twice a week. I do them on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 Eastern. Um, it's always some sort of project. So if you want deeper dives into projects, you can always watch those along with me. Um, I don't go as in-depth on explaining the products as I'm doing here, but it's also a good place to um to just get the get exposed to a lot of different things how to use them together and then how to um you know just some project ideas really um, and if you want notifications for when I go live, if you do exclamation point telegram, that will take you to sign up for my telegram. Um, if you do exclamation point retailers, um, that will take you to um, tell them to wait. Tell them we're not, we're not ready. Tell them 1130. We're not ready yet. That will take you to um, our to a listing where you can find all of our retailers. We just got a text that our people who are picking up picking us up for Hamilton are on their way. <laughs> We're not ready. Uh, it was supposed to be eleven thirty. Okay, so. I'm just jibber, jibber jabbering this morning. All right. At least I'm ready. Like my hair and makeup is done. I just got to put on my outfit. Okay. We're going to lunch today at Mary Max Tea House, which is like um, an iconic lunch place here in Atlanta. I've never been there before, but very Southern, you know, lots of fried food, iced tea, biscuits, etc. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay, one more demo, and then we'll do a quick look at the rest of the colors. Um, I'm going to use this one here. This is the um, St. Germain stencil. And I'll 
Okay, I'll let you guys pick the color. I was actually kind of thinking the gold, but I feel like it might, we might lose the gold with all that background that we have happening. So I'm not even sure about that. So what do you guys want to do? Do we want to do the black here? We could do the brown. The brown would be kind of pretty. Um, so which or we could do the silver that might be kind of pretty no or you know we could do the rose gold on this one we could do the um <laughs> okay good yeah yeah i think the rose gold rose gold okay here's your choices you guys can vote rose gold black or brown she thinks Emily says the bra the rose gold be too too pink. So uh brown. I think the brown. I feel like this one is calling for brown. Emily, you have such a good eye. She she was thinking exactly what I was thinking. She said she says the rose gold would be too much pink. The black would overpower it. The brown is perfect. Let's go with brown. Thank you, Emily. Okay, so this is the truffle. Um, so my truffle is a little bit crusty, but I think it's, huh? Because I used this last year when our stencils first came out. So it's about a year old open, but it's fine. It's still fine. So this has been opened a year, you guys. And it's, it's okay still. All right, so... But it is a little more pasty. It's a less um, fluid than the other ones, which is totally fine. Okay, so truffle. Yeah, they were halfway here and uh, Emily called them and told them to turn around. <laughs> it's like, we're not ready. She was like, we're coming right now. It's like, oh. none of us are ready. Yeah. And it wasn't even home. Right. We were told 1130. That's what we, that's what we planned on. Okay. We're just, I know. I'm just grateful that I don't have to drive down to Midtown today. All right. I know, it'll be fun. We're going to the Fox Theater, which is in Midtown. I've seen Hamilton before, so I actually saw it a couple years ago. You have, oh yeah, Emily's never know. seen it. Neither has Elizabeth. Okay, so. I don't have my silicone thing handy. Um, all right, let's lift this up. I told y'all, you know, my life is so busy, but you know, we're uncommitted. We're going to do this. I just have to schedule things around it, right? Yeah, it was still a little wet. I need to get some. My little scraper here. There we go. I got butterfingers this morning. All right. There we go. Oh, that's really pretty. All right, here. That is really pretty. I think that's gorgeous. So hold that for a second. Let me wipe this one down. And then I'll hand it off to you. So you, you can tell this one was a little more dry, a little more pasty than the other ones. So it's not wiping off quite as easily, but it's still totally usable. And what I could do as an experiment is try mix. I could try mixing a little bit of water into it at this stage and see how much longer it holds out. But it is nearing the end. In accounting, we have a term called the estimated useful life. 
Pasty. Yeah, she said it. Sh she said it looks a little better pasty. It is nearing the end of its estimated useful life. There you go. So here we go. That one, gorgeous. Um, and let's just, you know, show you the rest of the colors so you can see what they look like. And then we'll uh, end with questions, you guys. Go ahead and if you have questions, go ahead and ask them now so that I can get them answered. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know now um, what your questions are about this product. Uh, again, we're asking you to keep it on topic. We need to, I know, we do. We do. Could these be used on stamps? Um, no, I don't think they could be used on stamps because they're pasty. I think it would just stick to the stamp and it wouldn't... Um, it's too pasty really for a stamp. You can use it direct to wood, which is about what I'm what I'm doing right now. So you can either apply it with a brush and a pouncy mo motion. This is a little wood board, or you can just sort of layer it on like texture. So kind of like modeling paste or some sort of texture, you can definitely apply it directly to wood. Um, you can use it as a paint even. So you can take a paintbrush and kind of like dab it um, onto molds or castings. This is the emerald color. Bye, Mara. Uh, Mara, are you leaving? Um, all right, and then this is the, you already saw the Bordeaux. Let's show you the um, platinum. You already saw the truffle. Let's look at the platinum. And Okay, this is the platinum. All right. So this is newer. It's just open, so it's a it's a little more fluid than the emerald that I have, which has been um, open for a while. But it still goes on kind of pasty. It doesn't level out. These do dry matte. Again, they do dry matte. Um, Trina, I probably wouldn't, um, you know, I've got that, that black one, the, or sorry, the brown one, the truffle. I might add a little bit of water to see if I can extend the life, but I think, I think they actually go through the stencil a little bit better when they're a little pasty. Um, this is the gold. Okay. Look how pretty that is. This was perfect at Christmas time. Um, and you can paint, again, like I said, you can paint molds with these because thicker. Yeah, when it's a little bit older. I am going to add a little bit water of water to the, um, to the brown one, like I said, to see if we can. It does not flake or chip. It will not flake or chip. It is like hard, rock solid. Um, the black, you guys, the black was just delicious. Um, let me show you this, the black. Look at that with the uh, just brilliant gold particles in it. Can you, stencil, you can stencil over them at, after applying. You can, yes, because it's like, it's going to create like a thick, it's almost like a thick paint, like a really thick paint. Um, and then let's look at, I don't think we looked at rose gold. Let's look at rose gold. Retailers, again, you can drop your links one more time if you have uh, the colors. Um, let's look at rose gold. So rose gold. Um, again, next week, we're going to be looking at modeling paste, structure paste, and fiber paste, and what the differences are there. And that's the rose gold. 
Trina, I can't really answer that. I think tap water would be just fine. Because remember, you're at the you're pretty much going to be at the end of the life of this product. You're probably just trying to get maybe a month or two more out of it. So at that point, you're kind of grasping for straws. I don't think it matters what kind of water you would use to tr to try to recover it. What if it's rock solid though? If it's dry, fully dry, that's it. You're, there, there's no coming back from that. Okay. So any other questions before we go? Uh, no, Lori. It's um, the stamping into this is not going to work. It's just going to, it's not going to leave that kind of impression. Um, you can try it and see what I'm talking about, but it's not, it's just not going to be, it's not useful in my opinion at all for stamping. Okay. You guys, I hope y'all have an awesome day. You can, if you, if you think of something else next week. Yes. Yeah, so next week we're going to be doing modeling fiber and structure paste okay you guys have a great day don't forget to catch um the swag makers at three over on um Decoupage queen have a great day and we will see you then all right take care bye-bye